following podcast is brought to you by Fuse 4 Network. Head over to Fuse4Network.com for more awesome content. Lay off me, I'm starving! This is the Fuse 4 Podcast with your hosts, Matt, you can call him the tub, Elmer, Earwolf Mother, and Ben Chin. Special skinny guest, the Spitz. Hey everybody, Matt here, but you can call me Matub, and welcome to a brand new podcast from the Fuse 4 Network. This is the Fuse 4 Fatcast, featuring the biggest members of the Fuse 4 Network. With me, I have a Mr. Ben Jamin. How you doing? I got Tony, a.k.a. Johnny Titfuck, mm. a.k.a. Smellmoo, a.k.a. John Goodman. Mmm, feeling good, man. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, was it Johnny Titfuck that we decided was that was your name? Oh, I got switched around. Then Johnny oh, Blowjob, like, then Johnny yeah, Handjob. Yeah, Spence. Has anyone introduced you yet? Nope. Nope. Then don't talk. <laughs> Next, <laughs> we got Mister. We got Mister. Craigity Craig with the wig, aka Hero of Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and then masturbating in the corner, as always, is Tyler Spence. The one, the one skinny guy in this podcast. Yeah, we only let him in because he has the recording software. <laughs> yeah, they're using me, but whatever. He has no life experiences. <laughs> So, anyway, what fat things have you guys done recently, starting with Mr. Ben? I have had a triple Baconator within the past month, and it was delicious. But you had a triple Baconator? Damn, yes. son. Okay, since, let tell you what, let's just segue that to the, the idea of Wendy's. How do you guys feel about the new sea salt natural cut fries? Uh, it's, it's better than it's better than the old ones. I, they the taste exactly idea. the same. I, I, I kind of like them, and I don't. I think they're okay, but it's like the ones that I had were not that great. The way that they must have been fucking cooked, they taste bad. I don't know, dude. Anytime I've ever had Wendy's fries, they've been like soggy. Oh, really? Either either way too much salt or way too little salt. They've always been good for me. Here's a fat person tip for you. Whenever you go to any fast food restaurant, you say you don't want any salt on the fries. That forces them to cook them fresh, and then right when you get up to the window, you just ask for the salt there. Yeah. You get fresh fries and... As much salt. <laughs> That's what he does at Mickey yep. D's. Yeah. But you see, the, the the problem is is those Wendy salt packets. They like explode when you open them. Oh like, yeah, like, like yeah. Yeah, you get salt in your eye, and you're just like, oh, I hate my life. Life. Why did I go to Burger King? Uh, yeah, I probably have to say <laughs> probably the best fries I've had, most likely from just the three chain, the Wendy's, McDonald's, or Burger King. Right. Has to be Burger King fries. Really? Burger King fries are awesome. I love Burger King. For fries. me, it's a uh, Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's. To me, I it's like McDonald's, McDonald's fries. McDonald's new Wendy's Burger King. Oh, I can never. I hate McDonald's. No, I love McDonald's. What McDonald's is? McDonald's you McDonald's can, I, I, this is coming from a fat guy, and I don't like McDonald's. No, but you, wait, you don't like McDonald's in general? Then where is your fat origin? Oh, dude, I hate. Yeah. I hate the fries. I hate them. Oh my god. What? No, see, I like eating fries by the handful. Like I like feeling oh, especially I fat. Bags That's how you do I it. I drink the fries. <laughs> I don't even eat them. You know what I do? Okay. I, I take the fries and I put them in a frosty. You dip that shit. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's I good. Guess. Yeah. Okay, but what would you guys say is of any chain? Even like sit down restaurant included, that includes like Denny's and Bennigan's and all that. What would you say is the worst fries of any <laughs> like national chain? Mm-hmm. Nah, ooh, I don't know. I, I, oh, I'm I gonna say Wendy's. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Wendy's. You're going yeah. Wendy's, dude. I am gonna say Steak and Shake. Never been to Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. Their fries are essentially like hash browns. Like, can I you can have... I say Ruby Tuesday? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I get the bacon Fuck. cheese fries at Ruby's. Oh, shit. You know what? We forgot. I just forgot fucking Arby's. Oh. Arby, yeah. Arby's, Arby's sucks. Yeah. What? I've They're, always gotten they bad got fries. curly fries. Who, who eats regular fries at Arby's? Exactly. No one. No one. Yeah. It's just like you go there for the curly fries and the cheap roast beef. Dude, I got this fucking big roast beef sandwich. And then the guy was like, you want to double the meat for 99 cents? I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I freaking hate the cheese sauce sandwich. sandwich. They shouldn't even have to ask you that question. I mean, look <laughs> at him. Look, look at the size of this I, boy. I, I was in a exactly. car. I don't know. But I, but I hate the cheese there because it's just this disgusting little grease sauce of cheese. That's, that's why you. That's why you get it without cheese and put a shit ton of horsey sauce on it. Oh well, yeah. Yes. Dude, where you been? Okay. Um. What would you? <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about fast food anymore. Yeah. Okay. Hungry. Well, homemade fat. Homemade fat concoctions. What have you guys done recently? Oh, recently I've actually I've made my own version of a McGriddle. Oh god! 
you made them in griddle? Like, like, did you use pancakes or did you? I, I used I used uh, those French toast sticks. I got the cinnamon fresh to- uh, French toast sticks. I got some really cheap Jimmy Dean sausage, little small patties, and I got some uh, cheddar cheese. And I just cook it all together. It's pretty delicious. <laughs> but like, so did you have to cement the fresh toast sticks together with cheese? <laughs> <laughs> nah, gorilla glue. They, they stayed together pretty well on their own, actually. I got wow. something just like that. Really? Because I, I've tried homemade McGriddles before, but I can't get the uh, the maple syrup flavor to stay in the pancakes. Here's how I basically did it for my breakfast sandwich that I made uh, last week. I actually I did cook some pancakes up. I cooked up nice little portion portion. What am I saying? I cooked a big fucking pancakes, and then in between, I put like a big omelet, covered it with cheese. And then I covered it with like a sauce, like a couple sausages, Ugh. and a big fucking sandwich. This sounds gross. It was good, like, dude. It like cheese good. and pancakes together. I don't <laughs> oh, know. It, is, it is, dude. <laughs> that sounds when good. you have it, it's so fucking good. I don't know. Uh, my, uh, I just I don't <laughs> like I don't like the thought of a lot of cheese together with pancakes. It's, well, it's up- then you you get a, you gotta you gotta see how much cheese you want. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. What about you, Lemon? Um, I haven't really made anything recently, but I just ordered some bacon flavored popcorn offline. What? And nice. I'm expecting that in the mail, along with some bacon salt. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Dude, um, you know what? How about how about a homemade creation in general, Pat? Yeah. Yeah. What's what, um, what's a homemade creation of yours? Um I don't know. I just whenever I eat ice cream, what? I fucking I don't know. I just dead air, know. dead air, dead exactly. air. <laughs> so I'm not um, original. Do you guys want to know a great popcorn hack? What? What? You totally get um, like uh, bo- uh, popcorn that's butter but no salt. Yeah. And then you cook it, and then you take a really small packet of taco seasoning. Yeah. And you throw that in there, and you shake it up when it's all done. Bam! Taco popcorn. Oh really? Nice, sweet. That actually sounds delicious. It does. Oh my god, dude, it's it's amazing. Like if you get one of those really small packets of uh, like the Taco Bell seasoning yeah. they sell in the store, <laughs> you're supposed to put with like a pound of ground beef. <laughs> just use like half of it, you know, like just a little bit to taste. Because but if you get the stuff with salt, it tastes terrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> but if it doesn't have butter, it, it won't stick to the the popcorn. Right. Oh man, dude, that is, that is glorious. Oh lord. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about thinking about the food. <laughs> <laughs> be like, oh, yeah. All right, I have one for you. Uh, when you go, when you guys go to the movie theaters, what do you usually get at the movie theaters? Like, I get a drink. I well, get a giant Slurpee. Okay, well the the place I go to, it's free refills on everything. Oh. Lucky. So. Lucky well, bastard. Yeah, but to see an IMAX 3D movie, it's 13 bucks. Oh, oh holy geez. shit. So, yeah. Dude, like- so um, you get a drink, and then you get a popcorn bucket. And, like, they actually, they write the date on the popcorn bucket because people would, would like, bring in the same bucket for a month be like, yeah, can I get a refill? <laughs> <laughs> just hide it. Be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I just came out of the movie. Can I have some more popcorn? Thanks. Yeah. Well, um, so... uh. I, I always get a popcorn, and then they have this, like, station mm-hmm. where there's a butter dispenser and then, like, six different toppings. What? Oh, what kind of toppings? Oh, damn. Dude, yeah. we don't get any fucking toppings. You get, let's see, you got cheddar, Bullshit. ranch, oh. co- um, ranch, salt. Salt? Uh, just salt. like salt. Straight oh. salt. <laughs> <There's like, laughs> It's like six it's like things. it's like salt in like a liquid form, and it's just uh, like drench it. Oh, it's soy it's sauce. <laughs> it's all powder. It's it's not it's not liquid sauce. Oh, you're so fucking gross. <laughs> no man, it's all these like shake on things. Like you ever oh, have yeah. you ever have like that? Like you go to the grocery store and you get yeah, egg yeah. And cheese corn. Yeah, yeah. The crap that's on that. Yeah, we put yeah. as much or as little as you want. Oh, really? I usually rock. Um, like different layers, yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, like, do a little bit of butter, kind of shake it up a bit. Do like some taco, shake that up a bit. Do some cheese, shake that up a bit. <laughs> 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 it's like fiesta in my mouth. All right, uh, 
whenever I go to 7-Eleven, I have my own little thing now. Uh, for those available right now, they have this uh, this Mountain Dew thing out, the Mountain Dew white thing. They have it as a service. Yeah. yeah. So what I do... I was yeah. just at 7-Eleven, and it wasn't a Slurpee. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends on location, but what I do is I do a thing called the Moldy Slurpee. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Sounds I know. Terrible. It's sounds like, it's it's like, like a sexual show. innuendo. <laughs> the Moldy Slurpee. But what I do is I take, uh, I like fill it half full with uh, the Coke Slurpee, the classic Coke. Yeah. I uh, put in the blue raspberry that they have right now, okay. about a little bit of that. And then I put in the white, uh, the freaking white Mountain Dew. It tastes like a freaking delicious mountain of awesome in your mouth. <laughs> um, Interesting. Of awesome. Okay, speaking of delicious mountain of awesome in your mouth, um, I went to Flint this weekend, yeah. yeah, which is where I hail from. I'm currently in a place known as Benton Harbor, or to the the residents, Benton Harlem. Yeah. Uh, so I went <laughs> back to Flint, and uh, downtown Flint, I've decided is my new hangout. Really? Why? Because uh, it's like a business district. <laughs> it's only it's only a mile away from the worst parts of Flint, like the kind you see in Michael Moore movies. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but for that that glorious mile, it is nothing but awesome restaurants and good places to go for a drink. Wow. And I had I had Drambuie for the first time. Oh Ooh. really? You got drunk? Oh my god! Actually, I was I was just drinking beer, and then I was just like I had dinner. Um, went to this place called Blackstones, and they have a student ID menu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where everything on the menu is four bucks, and it's like. This is, this place is it's in downtown Flint. It's across the street from uh, a national charity, um, a civil a civil engineering building. Like, <laughs> like there's people in bars and in like ties and shit. And you can get a giant thing of gourmet onion rings for four bucks. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, oh. and, so, and so it's called the Tower of Onion Rings. Um, yeah. Then let's see. They had garlic bread. Wait, that hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of onion rings? Is it like the the lightly spackled ones? No, dude. I'm talking or like is it the big thick ones. The I'm ones. talking these things are an inch thick. Oh, nice. With, oh, with a quarter inch tell- of batter. And they tell- had this. They had this Cajun ranch. Yep. It mm-hmm. it was like this brown ranch that it, it kind of tasted like like a like a creamy ranch, but it was really spicy. Oh. It had this nice kick. And I was drinking. I was drinking. Uh, like uh, your standard light beer, uh-huh. and right. it was just the perfect combo because then the beer took away the bite from the Cajun sauce. But then a perfect after dr- dinner drink I found out is I don't know if you guys like ginger ale. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, in Michigan, the only ginger ale is Verner's. Are you like, serious? I'm sure you guys, really? you guys. Have, I mean, you can get Canada Dry or whatever, but everybody drinks Verner's if they drink ginger ale. Um. And so I had a Drambuie and Verner's, and it was glorious. <laughs> there's there's oh, so geez. much sugar in that drink that it, it is a dessert. It's, it's got this spice nice. and a sweetness. It's like drinking a ground up Spence. <laughs> a ground oh. up me, huh? Oh, okay. Because because I know this is an audio podcast, but Spence is somewhat of a daywalker. <laughs> oh, oh hi! I get it. I yeah. get it. Though I may be the skinniest guy here, I actually eat pretty religiously like a fat man. You see, that's good. Okay, okay, fine, skinny man. What is your best creation? Yeah, My best creation. Oh, that's a tough one. But um, okay, interrupted by a real fat man. My best creation. <laughs> <laughs> interrupted by a cut. I like it. I love how we're like picking on Spence because he's not fat. <laughs> Irony. Hands down, my best creation is the Matt Witch. I don't know the if Matt I ever explained to you. Yes. Of the Matt Witch. Awesome. I don't think I've heard of the Matt Witch. I need to hear this. Well, I worked oh, at a gourmet, a gourmet sandwich shop for a while. It was owned by a Greek family. Um, buddy of mine, it was his parents. And I, beca- I originally started working on dishes, and then I became a fry cook because I was the only one. Because it was me, uh, my buddy Mike, whose parents owned the place, and then our buddy Colin. The three of us were the ones that worked in the back. And most of the fry stuff was done by my buddy's dad. Right. And uh, huh? I was the only one that wouldn't burn myself when frying <laughs> fish. And fish and chips was like one of our biggest orders. So I ended up working there. And then I moved up to sandwich artist. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And usually around like 1.30, the lunch crowd would disappear. And then we'd get like no customers until 4 o'clock. So yeah. we would just sit around, like throw things at each other, talk about playing WoW. You know, <laughs> like just the usual. That's yeah, a taboo so, word for Matt these days. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can talk about that later. 
<laughs> oh, uh, so uh, we got bored one day, and I started experimenting with sandwiches. And I came up with what is known as the Matwich, quite possibly the greatest breakfast, lunch, or Brinner sandwich. Brinner. Oh, oh who doesn't love Brinner? I so, love Brinner. Brinner's amazing. So the Matwich, you start with a ciabatta roll. Yeah. You know that, that thing that Burger King claims is ciabatta? Yeah. yeah. That's, that is not. That's that is bullshit. Not, that's bullshit. bullshit. The, the only time I've had good ciabatta from a restaurant was uh, Red Robin. Yeah, I love Yum. fucking Red Robin. Okay, so imagine Red Robin's ciabatta bun, like that thing they use. Yeah, the yeah. Angus roast beef, Ooh. cracked pepper turkey, and honey glazed smoked ham. Oh, With melted provolone cheese. Oh, you fuck. And then, and then dig this, an egg over hard, so like the way an egg McMuffin egg is. Right, yeah. yeah. You like actually that. make it yourself. Throw that on there. And then for the sandwich dressing, you use cream cheese. Whoa. Oh, I think I need a bib. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking drool is getting all over the place. So, I think I every, need to change my pants. <laughs> everyone everyone kind of looked at it and just, like, the three of us were like, what do we do now? And we heard the fat angels singing. <laughs> everyone, they, they both looked at me and they're like, Matt, what have you done? <laughs> this is unnatural. You've created a monster. Oh my god, dude! It, it was so good, and we put it on our menu. Oh, nice! And and nobody bought it. So what we did <laughs> is we we had to uh, run like covert ops, where I would come in on my day off and order one. <laughs> be like, yeah, I want a mad witch. I'd be like, I'll take a mad witch and and hash browns. Like, <laughs> people like, what's that? I'm like, like this is the mat witch. It's the special for the day. It's only four fifty. <laughs> like, it's like the best fucking sandwich ever, guys. Come on. And I'm like, and I tell people what's on it. And they're like, oh my god, I'm gonna get that next time. And then word <laughs> of mouth, you know. Mm. It's like they come back and it's like they forget all about it. And, oh, and then our waitress got pregnant. <laughs> oh that, shit! I didn't do that. That was mat witches. I think it was the mat witch. <laughs> <laughs> the mat witch has the holy grace, which it will uh, oh, give immaculate conception. <laughs> It'll bring forth more mats without that. need of mats. Oh, jeez. If you refer to a woman, don't eat a mat witch because you will conceive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How big are you guys thinking... on Greek restaurants? Uh, oh, dude, I love Euros, so I'm oh, huge yeah. on Greek restaurants. You ever been to uh, Jimmy the Greeks? No. I, I, is that a yeah, chain? Think, or is it... Yeah, it's a main thing. But um, I was on vacation last summer, and I went there, and I on the menu it said Fingers of Atlas. Now, what do you think <laughs> when you hear Fingers of Atlas? I think really giant big... fucking fingers. Well, I underestimated really that, and I got the 16-piece. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 okay, imagine corn dogs. Yeah. yeah. Chicken finger sized. All right, no, chicken oh, finger sized. Shit. Corn dog sized chicken fingers. Whoa. Barbecue Whoa. glaze. Oh. All right. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm talking about my greatest creation here. Oh. I, of course, I had a lot of them here. So, And I had um, some Parmesan chicken and spaghetti from the other night. Mm -hmm. Then I also had garlic bread. So I take the buns from the Parmesan chicken, and I load the freaking chicken fingers on the Parmesan chicken. The spaghetti from the other night goes on top of that. The meatballs. Then the garlic bread, the first layer of sandwich bread. Then the buns. Let me tell you, it was God. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you go like run a mile or something, you skinny bastard? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony, your greatest creation. Okay. Uh, so that's what made the other night. Yeah. That thing was amazing. Okay. So, uh, how can I describe my greatest creation? All I can say, it's got uh, mashed potatoes, some... Uh, uh, I think they're God, I can't not wheat thins triscuits, and they're are they're uh, fuck, and they're like they're like pepper cracked, so it, so it tastes like really fucking good. And so I oh, took like those those tomato basil. No, not those, not those. They, but like in that in that brand, yeah, like the, yeah. the the herb whatever. Yeah, triscuits. Okay. So basically, uh, I was sitting home and I couldn't think of anything to eat besides the norm. And I want no. I want to make some like something out of the ordinary, and so uh, I was looking in the uh, the pantry for bread, and I found I found this loaf that I was like it was like it was like half eaten. We only had eaten half of it, and so I put that I popped that in the toaster, and so I, I let that all uh, get nice and golden, 
And so I took the bread out, like I, I dug it out. So it kind of, it's kind of like a pot and I filled it out with mashed potatoes. And then in the, in the middle of the mashed potatoes, I made a pot of gravy. It's okay. What the fuck are you gonna call this thing? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. I haven't. I don't have a name for it yet. (laughs) And so, and then I took, and then I took a bunch of the the triscuits. I crunched them up, and then I basically stuffed it all inside of there. And then I put a little some uh, some uh, um, slice of American cheese on top. Oh God! Why would you ruin it with American cheese? I'm not ruining it, dude. It was. uh, I'd use sharp cheddar. Nah. How do you start? I was, I was, I was, I was American at the time. American cheese tastes like plastic. Oh, no. sharp cheese is delicious. I love man. American cheese. Well, I think it might. American cheese is truly American. It's it's plastic and fake, and nobody <laughs> likes it. <laughs> oh, hi Took that and I put that back in the microwave and let it cook even more. Basically, when I took it out, it was like if God orgasmed into a, a bowl, a bread bowl. No joke. All right, I'll, Tony, I have a name for that. I'm going to call it the Irish Stream. The what? The, the Irish Stream. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. That's something you find at a bar. Yeah. That's not magic. <laughs> that's some, tri- that's someone you pick up at a bar. Mm. <laughs> Top it off with some cottage cheese oh. fresh from Tony's thighs. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Oh. You got to grate that on top. Ooh. Wow, maybe you need some fresh ginger. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody that's in the podcast and has a soul, raise your hand. I have, technically I have half a soul. I'm only Dang. a day nope. walker. <laughs> day walkers just got the soul revoked. Sorry. No, dude. Spence just wears a lot of uh, sunscreen. I don't wear any sunscreen. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. I mostly wear hats. <laughs> you do wear a lot of hats. I love you. hats. It's kind of like that kid in, uh, in our school that uh, he's so gin- – or well, I wouldn't say he's ginger, but he's allergic to the sun. I thought he was albino. That's no, he's al- different, man. He's allergic to the sun. He isn't no, anymore. Dude. What yeah. color are his eyes? I don't know. I, I don't stare directly into no, that. Because if his know. eyes are pink, he's albino. That's, that's are, a- He's not albino. He's not albino. All right. So I've, then Spence so, is dumb. I've seen some albino kids in our school. Jesus. They talk about this guy, guy completely covered up by like trench coat and shit, and I'd never Dude, seen him once. I saw him in the middle school back when he actually used to wear the fucking. He used to wear like this, uh, the, the the big skiing goggles, and he had like a full face mask. I thought over. he was a fucking legend. I'd never seen him before. Oh, no, I'd seen um, him. He was real. I saw him one time, and they they were in like gym class up, and I saw him running. He's in around. my class. He's in oh. my JMG class. Take a picture with the guy or something. I gotta see what he looks like. He doesn't, he, doesn't make, he doesn't wear it anymore. He's trailer trash, though. It's the funny thing. You guys make me feel so old. <laughs> Seriously, stop it. <laughs> yeah, you make me feel so skinny. Oh, mm. oh God. Spence, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> That's what you get for inviting the skinny guy to the podcast for fat people. Yeah. We need we needed someone to record we need the outside it. outside perspective and recorder. Well, like, you could have just been silent not introduced me at all, and I could have just sat there silently Well, you, know, you broke the silence anyway, you bastard. Yeah, you would have said something about it. You made a fat joke. That's what you would have done. Well, I have so four anyway. people I can make one for, so what am I going to do? Anyway, I think that we should wrap this nice little short fat cast up, because I'm sure all us big guys are out of breath. <gasps> I certainly am. I need to have some more soda. I need to... <laughs> I'm gonna go sit down and eat, eat oh, some wheat ends, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop like a bag of hammers. I need Dude, to I am five eating guys. What the hell? I am eating wheat thins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with the fattest thing I think I've ever done in my life. Oh boy! Deep fried cream cheese. Hell oh, yeah! Yes. yes. Oh. It's like a it's like a mozzarella stick, but like a thousand times better. Yeah, I think you told us this before. Oh yeah, I told you guys. But I, I still gotta okay. try it. Yeah, and it, like think of any way you deep fry something normal, like like uh, if you're gonna make mozzarella sticks. Actually, you know what's good is if whatever batter you would use to make f- uh, fish. Yeah. All right. Just as long as it's not a beer batter, because I found out beer batter is not so good with cheese. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Um, so then you just wrap it in that, deep fry it. So good. And then wash it down with some deep fried broccoli. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I will. 
I will say that is that is some awesome, awesome stuff. <laughs> but anyway, we should probably get out of here. As always, I'm Matt. You can call me Matub. And then you got Spence. Uh, I'm Benjamin. I'm Fatty Elmo and dark fucking tits and I don't know. And we just lost Craig. Oh, oh man, Cure of Lemons. Craig had a stroke. No, really... <laughs> oh, no, he passed out. Oh, he didn't much this whole time. I know. He probably went to go make a mat with. <laughs> he, yeah. he went to do more fat things. Anyway, think heavy thoughts, everyone. Have a nice night.